A common question between two Kubernetes admins is, what's in your Kubernetes tech stack? At KubeCon North America 2024, the cloud team at Akamai sponsored me to find that out. One of the best ways to find out how engineers are combining dozens of cloud native tools together is at the Platform Engineering Day. I generally use the co-located sessions, which, which happen sort of pre kubecon as a parameter of what's trending this year. One of the big things is platform engineering. Uh, that was a full room, standing room only for the whole day. We all need consistent ways to implement these various tools on top of Kubernetes, but it often requires lots of effort and trial and error to get it right. As Billy Thompson, a platform engineer, puts it. But how you stitch together these different CNCF projects, that can get a bit wild. In fact, the CNCF has been hearing back from the end user community that we all wished the interoperability of these tools was better. When we're all trying to figure out how all these tools fit together, we start to see patterns emerging in the industry and KubeCon is one of the best places to talk about those patterns. While I was at KubeCon, Akamai shipped their new app platform because they saw these same challenges in the industry. Akamai is also sort of going into that by launching its uh, free application platform for the Kubernetes engine. And, and this kind of gives you like a curated list. While I was there, I also learned about the Cloud Native Operational Excellence Project, or CANU, as an optimized stack of open source cloud native tools on Kubernetes and best practices on how to use those tools together. You can watch all the KubeCon talks from the Platform Engineering Day on YouTube and search for the Platform Engineering Day NA 2024 and that'll get you the playlist. And check out the Canoe Project and join their Slack channel.